Hi guys, my name's Emma and let's talk spooky stuff. So today I'm going to do my 2016 most anticipated films, the films I'm most looking forward to. I did one of these last year and it's actually so funny, I just watched it before. So today I want to talk about the movies I'm looking most forward to in 2015 and let's get straight into it. It's really crazy to see how far I've come. I think my speaking on camera is a lot better. But the most interesting thing about it is that I didn't actually get to watch all of the films. Those of you out there who are American will know that you guys get a lot of movies before we do and some of the movies that you've got we still have. But there is a couple in there that I did watch and I reviewed. Uh, there, there's still things that I'm waiting on seeing, which is Goosebumps, so I've heard really bad things. And I'm going to go on to my first one, which is going to be the same as 2015's anticipated films. 2016, my first one I want to talk about is 31, uh, which is obviously the Rob Zombie film. So unlike last year, I actually know what this film's about now. It's about a group of carnival workers, I think there's five of them, they're kidnapped and they're taken to this abandoned building. And there they have to participate in a game with these killer clowns and try and survive. I'm pretty sure all of you zombie fans are really excited about this movie, but for everyone else, I'm sure you're really sick of hearing about it. So on to Rings, which is of course the third one in the trilogy of the remake of The Ring. The remake of The Ring is pretty much my favorite remake of all time. Well, definitely my favorite American remake of all time. I love it, I love the storyline. Uh, this one, the plot line really isn't clear. It's just about Samara coming back. I actually thought this one was a prequel and then I looked into it a little bit more and it's not, but it doesn't really reveal anything else. I know a lot of you guys are really excited about this one um, and I am too, if not, but just to relive one of my favorite horror remakes and favorite storylines. Uh, but this one does not have Naomi Watts, so I really don't have high hopes for it, but I'm just kind of want to enjoy the ride. One you guys have been making noise about is 2016's The Boy. This movie do not confuse with 2015's The Boy. I'll talk about that a little bit later on my channel. The 2016 film has already been released in America, so I'm hearing things already and I'm trying to dodge those spoilers. Uh, but pretty much it's about a nanny who goes to an English family to look after their little child. Um, and upon her arrival, she finds out it is a life-size doll. Once again, this one could go either way. I'm just kind of excited to see how it turned out. I know a lot of you guys were really excited about this at the end of last year and the trailer was really good. Speaking of great trailers, Before I Wake looks amazing and if you haven't seen the trailer please go and watch it right now and then come back to this video. It's about a young family that adopt a boy and then when he's sleeping his dreams or nightmares become reality. I really like the look of this one and I'm feeling a very paranormal vibe this year. These kind of films are coming out more and I'm not about to stop with that on this list. Keeping on the theme with creepy children, the next one is On the Other Side of the Door. And this one looks pretty interesting, I could go either way with it. It's about a family that experiences this tragedy that leaves their son dead. And then the mother is contacted by a psychic and is given the opportunity to talk to her son who has passed over. But the one rule is, don't open the door. And you guys are pretty smart, I'm sure you know what happens next. Another one, yes, guilty pleasure kind of, is The Conjuring 2. I'm a fan of James Wan, I'm a fan of Paranormal, and I'm a fan of True Story, so this all comes together. I'm not really sure in this one and how it will go, and I feel like that's a theme going throughout this list, except for 31 and my next one I'll talk about, but I really feel like this could go either way. I'm not putting all of my heart into these movies this year, just because I'm not too sure, and a lot of ones pop up that I don't know about, and the hidden gems seem to be the ones I enjoy the most. This one, do I think it's going to be the best horror movie of 2016? No. Do I think it's going to be in my top 10? Probably not, but I'm excited to see it and I'm excited to be proven wrong, maybe. And I've saved the best for last. If you guys haven't heard of The Neon Demon, here is a treat for you. This one is about a woman who moves to LA and she is kind of obsessed over by this group of materialistic girls who want her vitality and her youth. And there's a few rumors about this one and what kind of happens, but I don't want to give anything away because it could be a major spoiler. But this one has a really good cast, including Jenna Malone, who I think is totally underrated, Christina Hendricks and Keanu Reeves, among some other A-list actors. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know what you're looking forward to the most in 2015. And if you haven't heard, I'm gonna have a stream and it's gonna be a live stream, kind of like a Q&A, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, the times are available down below. There's a link, you just click on it and you'll find it near a city and it's all good. I hope you guys have had a great week and you have a great weekend and I'll talk to you later. Bye.